So I definitely think there was a few improvements with this show, but it's still missing a few things. What's going on, fellow board members? Welcome to the boardroom. I am Ords, and today, guys, we are doing a review on episode two of Muppets now on Disney Plus. Uh, so, if you guys haven't checked out my review for episode one, you guys can do that up here. Um, so, I, I was a little, you know, uh, taken out of the show with the first episode. There were uh, some really great things I liked about it. Um, there were some things I, I was not too keen about uh, at all. Um, but all, all in all, you know, I, I can't remember the actual score I gave it. I think I gave it a 5 out of 10. Um, I can't remember exactly what, what the number was uh, off the top of my head right now. But uh, anyway, guys, um, so I did watch episode 2. Watched it probably uh, two times, two, three times. Uh, just wanted to really take it all in uh, and make sure that I give a, a honest assessment um, and spend time actually watching it and trying to break it down in my head as I watched it. So... Um, I would definitely have to say this episode two is better than the first episode. There were uh, some, some great things I liked about this episode. Uh, it starts off with um, Pepe the King Prawn. His he has a game show, uh, which is uh, kind of funny because uh, you know Scooter he kind of runs runs everything, uh, and it's like clockwork. You know he's he's good at keeping schedule. Uh, when we know Pepe the King Prawn, he's kind of uh, he he plays by his own rules. Uh, he's a wild little shrimp. Uh, but anyway, um, so as Scooter starts the sketch, uh, or the game show within the sketch, uh, Pepe decides he has his own, you know, uh, way of doing things, so he takes over the show because it's his show. Uh, and if you guys have seen the episode, you know, you know the reference there. Um, but there were, at first, the pacing of this scene was a little fast. I felt like things were happening a little too fast. Uh, but eventually the skit did catch its stride, uh, and I really enjoyed the skit. It was funny. Um, there were some humorous things in there. Uh, yeah, I'd really be interested to see some like behind-the-scenes stuff uh, of this TV show. All right, guys, so the next sketch uh, is a cooking sketch like they had in the first one uh, with the Swedish chef and then the turkey host. I, I am drawing a blank on the turkey host's name. Um, and an interesting guest appearance of uh, Danny Trejo, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, it's really great that I know I think he's done work with the Muppets before, uh, but it was really great to see him in there. All um, right, so for this sketch, it took a little while for it to get off the ground. Uh, and it was kind of slow up until towards the end of the sketch. Um, I do, I do kind of like the way they're doing this uh, this sketch uh, with the cooking and stuff, where they kind of actually show you kind of how to actually make some real food. Um, they don't really give you much detail on it, but they, they tell you the ingredients at least, uh, and you know maybe inspire you to actually make one of these dishes at home. Um, so they made uh, uh, mole tacos. Danny Trejo made mole tacos, which are, really looked delicious, if I do say so myself. Uh, but then, you know, the Swedish chef uh, gets himself uh, into some trouble, uh, and you just got to see the sketch. If you guys haven't, if you guys haven't watched it yet, just just go watch, stop this video and go watch at least that sketch because I, I really like the way that sketch ended. Um, but I, I feel like the turkey host is a little dry. If you don't mind, I'll do the jokes. We don't mind, huh? but when are you going to do them? <laughs> I feel like we could just have the Swedish chef uh, and bring guests in uh, and then let the chaos happen from there. Uh, maybe end the sketch with, you know, the guest star, you know, being all covered in food or uh, something along those lines. Uh, I would, again, I would I'd write it a little bit differently, but I think there are good things about the sketch. Uh, and it is an interesting take. Uh, on you know uh, a cooking uh, a, a cooking show, so we only get to see Kermit in, uh, for one scene in here. Uh, however, I do feel like the voice was a little bit stronger in this. Uh, with my last uh, review of the first episode, I was not a fan. I'm not a fan of the. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm not a fan, but I, I you know I'm not too keen on the Kermit voice currently. But in this scene, it was a little bit better. Uh, and again, I, I'll give credit to him. Uh, Matt Vogel, he he's very great with his handwork, and it does remind me of, of classic Kermit. Uh, just the voice kind of takes me out of it. But uh, it is, you know, so we had him in one scene, which is kind of cool. But one thing that really bothers me about this is we still don't have any songs. We still don't have any song and dance numbers. Uh, and that's really what I think of with the Muppets. Like, you go back and watch the all the Muppet movies. They were basically musicals uh, with puppets. So uh, we're not getting any of that. All right, so then we have the Miss Piggy sketch. Uh, and I kind of feel like with some of these sketches, they take a minute to get off the ground. Uh, but once they do, they find their footing in these sketches, uh, and they end up being pretty funny uh, for the most part, uh, you know, helping you forget about the beginning of this sketch. Uh, so uh, we get guest appearance by Tay Diggs in this one. Uh, he's hanging out with this piggy. And towards the end of the sketch, it does get pretty funny 
Uh, but it just, again, it just takes a while for that sketch to get off it, off the ground. All right, so for the next skit we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about the one with uh, Bunsen and Beaker. Uh, so I really enjoyed this skit. It was probably one of my favorite in here. It was pretty hilarious, pretty predictable, but it was funny. Uh, it reminded me of the Muppets. Uh, there's a little education in there. Um, and who doesn't love setting things on fire, guys? Let's be honest. Uh, I'm not going to get into the plot details of it. If you want to watch the show, go watch it. That's cool. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. It, it was funny. Like I said, there was some cool education in there. Um, and, yeah, it, it was a good skit. I would say this is probably solid from the beginning to the end of this skit. Um, so, yeah, good skit. So I'm not totally sure how I feel about the in-between scenes with Skeeter uploading stuff uh, to Muppets Now or whatever. Um, I, I feel like sometimes it kind of takes me out of the show. I'd like to, you know, have him run from one sketch to another. Just do a, a quick transition into another sketch. Uh, you know, try that on for size and see how that goes. All right, guys, so my final thoughts uh, on this review for episode two of Muppets Now. Uh, I feel like uh, there was something in every sketch that I enjoyed. It made me laugh, chuckle. Um, even if it was to myself. So there, there was definitely some things in this I enjoyed. I'm definitely going to have to give it a better score uh, than episode one. Uh, it seems like they've kind of find their footing a little bit more. And, and maybe, you know, just a second thought here, maybe with, uh, you know, being a freeform show with no script, uh, it takes a while for them to warm up. Uh, so as they're filming stuff, you know, because I'm sure this is a highly edited show uh, Just from how many takes that they're probably gonna have to do. I mean, you don't just come right out and uh, You know hit your lines. I'm sure sometimes you do but most of the time you're reworking things Hey, what if I try this instead? What about this? Does this joke fit here? Uh, you're really working hard behind the scenes uh, and it's just a lot of editing um, but there was always something in every scene that I enjoyed so I'm definitely gonna have to give this uh, It will go ahead and say seven out of ten for this episode um, It is better than the first one. Um, I just again I want to see more song and dance or I want to see some song and dance uh, any at all uh, because there hasn't been on and there it is, fellow board members, my review of episode two of Muppets Now. Uh, make sure you guys leave a comment and let me know down below what you guys thought of episode two. Uh, if you haven't watched episode two, let me know what you thought of episode one. If you haven't watched the show, let me know why you haven't watched the show. Just make sure you guys leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys thinking. So that is the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button down below, guys. Make sure you hit the bell for notifications. And as always, guys, make sure you hit the subscription button. It always helps. Uh, so onward to episode three um if uh, the upward trend continues to go i'll be very excited for the show um sometimes shows just have to find their footing and once they do uh they're off to the races uh so looking forward to episode three that should be hitting this weekend uh can't wait guys uh thank you guys so much for watching this video i love all of you guys and we will catch you on the other side peace <laughs>